Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. So this is pretty much straight after the previous video um, and the stuff that I'd had on the canvas was so pretty, uh, sorry, that, that ran off and I, I did a swipe for a, um, for a greeting card. Um, I just used the inside of a cereal box and I swipe onto it and then I leave it to dry and cut it into a size that fits onto one of those pre-made greeting cards and sell them so and I find that they sell quite well so anyway the colors that got created on that swipe were just beautiful the cells were so cute and um, I thought hmm, I'd quite like that on a canvas so here we are plopping the colors that I used in that painting onto this canvas this is a little triangle canvas it's actually being recycled I have used this one before and washed it off because I didn't like it um, and I'm just dib dib dabbing one thing I do when I dib dib dab is I make sure that all the corners are dib dib dabbed and that way, whatever happens, the corners are covered. Um, now, I do like my copper. If you haven't noticed that. <laughs> so just applying the paint very randomly. And you could do this, you could pick up your um, paint that's fallen off from your original painting and use that directly if you're not going to make greeting cards. That's totally cool as well. So the other colour that I put into there was some white. So I'm just going to... Durable. I mean, hey, some people would like this just the way that it is and would keep it that way. But my target with this is to do a swipe. So, um, it's slightly bigger than my palette knife. So, I'm going to get my cake slice out. And I'm just going to pop it down there. Kind of mush around a bit, not pushing down at all. I am making sure that as I go across, all the canvas is covered. The same with the sides, just washing. It's not technically a swipe, as is technically known in the acrylic pouring circles. It's probably more of a mushy squiggle. <laughs> the mushy squiggle swipe, that's what I'm going to call it. There we go. Just bring some of the darker brown back up to the top. <laughs> Even the knife is pretty. 
so we've got cells happening all over the place we've got paint running all over the place it is one of those extremely random ones and i'm just gonna go mushy there again Woo -hoo. wow that would look cool on a pendant all right so let us torch that and see if any more cells want to come out Also any air bubbles because that mushy process that adds air in quite a lot. Especially when you're doing a big thick canvas like this. This is one of the one and a half inch wide ones. Just make sure you um, do the edges. And the one bit that's really sticking out to me is that so let's just mush it slightly that way that's better <laughs> well that is definitely funky I do like it um so do I leave it like this or do I put a ribbon across it? Leave it, ribbon. Leave it is lighter. Let's leave it. Okay. So what's light is right for you and what's heavy is a lie for you. So please, please, please use that to your advantage and know that what's light for me may not be light for you. You may have got a heavy on the leave it and a light on the ribbon. And that is totally okay. So let's get you down and show you some of the beauty inside of here. Wow, it's definitely busy. But it's not really in your face busy because of the colours. I do like it. So we've got some cells that have come up. If I can get them to focus, there we go. But a lot of it is just the, the smearing and the mushy. With the occasional cell just popping up to say hi. Isn't it cool? You kind of wish you could take this and blow it up. So that it was like a full 20 by 20 canvas or something like that. And check out the sides. Even the sides are pretty. Take you around to this side. I so like this. This is so pretty. So gentle. It's so intense. What if all of life could be gentle yet intense? Kindness and caring and full on fun. Are you willing to choose that as your life? Would that be fun for you? All right. Well, I'll let this dry and I will show it to you once it's dry. So here it is finished and uh, I just love it. It just looks like a swirling mass in the sea uh, with rocks and foam and Ah, oh, that's so cool. I love it. It's one of those ones where you're just like, hmm, I could stare at you for hours. So, very pleased with this one. And thanks so much for watching. How much fun can you have? What magic can you be in everything that you choose today? What else is possible? Bye-bye.